Hello my friends! In this video, I'll show you how to paint a safari silhouette with a family of elephants. First, I'll place the horizon line and the sun. And here I'm using a purple lead to make sure that I draw a perfect circle. And I'm filling it with yellow. Of course, we will texturize it later on, but now I'm just drawing the base. Because this is a sunset landscape, my major colors for the sky will be red, orange, yellow, white and a little bit of blue. But I'm going to let you know at the right moment when I'm going to add blue and why. Now I am just filling the entire area with those colors and I'm variating a little bit. For example, right now I'm adding white around the sun and on top I'm putting a yellow-orange color. Now it's time to add the blue and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to add contrast. So I'm using here a very light blue and I'm adding mostly around the sun on one side and on the other. Now one thing here to pay attention to, if we mix the blue with yellow, we will get a green. So we have to avoid this combination of color in the sky because there's no green in the sky. If we have to use yellow, then either we will have to wait until the blue is completely dry or when we use yellow, we mix it first with a little red, so we will create an orange. And when orange and blue will mix together, they will create a gray that complements the entire look of the sky. As you can see right now, I'm adding orange and I'm blending it with the blue that I added before. Before painting clouds and sky, we need to, to learn a few things. Of course, we're not gonna go too deep into studying the clouds, uh, but as artists, we need to, to know just a, a few little things. First of all, there are clouds that are closer, there are clouds that are far away from us. And uh, because of this, the clouds that are closer, they will have a uh, very defined edge and they will receive more light. The ones that are far from us, they're gonna blend somewhere in the background. Also, they uh, receive and they reflect uh, in a different way the light. And here, uh, the most important thing is the source of light. And here it's here, the, either the sun or the moon. It depends if it's day or night. When I paint sky and clouds, I like first to add a base layer and then to add uh, multiple layers of clouds. Um, for the base layer, it all depends on the moment uh, of the day that we want to paint. For example, if we're looking for a daylight landscape, then we will add a very bright blue and we'll mix blue and white for that. If we're looking for a sunset or for a sunrise moment, then we'll have mostly oranges, red, purple, pinks. It depends on the intensity of the, of the moment. And then if we have a, um, let's say, a dark sky, then we can use dark blues, purple, even green if we want to go more towards a fantasy sky. 
If you have to paint a landscape where the sky is the major element, I recommend using oils. The reason is that the oils are blending very easy and it gives you a lot of time to work with. Here I'm using acrylics. Acrylics dry very, very fast, especially when the temperature is up, then it dries almost instantaneous. So blending, it's not the major uh, element here and it becomes challenging when you want to create a soft transition in between two colors. But there is a trick here. In order to make acrylics more blendable, then I increase the water amount. So that gives me a little bit more time to work with it. I'm adding a few accents with white and some of them at the bottom of the sun. I'm adding more white here. And to enhance the contrast, I'm adding few accents with purple. Not very much, I'm not looking for a purplish sky, I still want to keep it orange. It's just here and there where I want to enhance the clouds. To enhance the contrast even more, I'm adding some accents with red. And here I'm not mixing this red with anything, I'm just using pure red uh, from the tube. I'm going around the areas that I painted with purple before. I'm adding some here on the bottom and some on the side. And of course, a few more clouds on the right side. And for this, I'm using a mix of orange and white. For the sun, I want to redefine it first. And I'm covering it with a bright yellow. But this time, I'm paying more attention on the edges. And I want to create a gradient where the brighter um, yellow is somewhere on the top and the orange is on the bottom. And of course, because I cannot stop, I'm going to add more accents on the sky, but mainly it's done. That was the most difficult part. Now it's the easiest part. And from now on, we're gonna use only black. We're not gonna change the colors at all. And first, I'm going to sketch um, some um, branches that we can see on the top of the right corner. The branches, um, as usual, they are in all shape, all forms, all the directions. And then with the tip of my brush, I'm adding leaves. Here I want to um, leave it a little negligent because I want to still see the shape of the leaves. So I am going around and I'm filling all in with black.
On the opposite side, I'm adding a tree. First, I'm placing it, putting a few branches, and then I'm going to make it even bigger. And I'm adding more black and I'm reshaping the trunk. I'm adding more branches on the other side. and even more branches. My tree is a desert tree and the leaves are a little unusual. Now, if you want, you can add simple leaves or you can leave the tree without any leaves at all. That will work too. But for me, I'm adding right now all sort of little lines and different directions. And that will give me that feeling of a unusual looking leaves. It almost looks like several palm trees combined in one tree. Uh, here I'm adding uh, more, more leaves and why not more branches. I'm always looking to make sure that my tree doesn't need more branches, more leaves, or something else. So that's why I'm adding a little more. And why not, let's add some here. A few more branches. I'm filling this area too, but I'm not looking for a straight line. It's more of a mini heels, if you want to call it like that. I'm very sorry, I painted the first elephant off camera, but now I want to show you how I paint an elephant. First, I'm sketching the silhouette and I am placing the head, the legs, the rest of the body and then I'm filling in with, um, with black. Of course, I am adjusting the shape as I work. And for the baby elephant, I'm following the same steps, but uh, this time I'm going to make it do smaller and I'm placing now the legs and that's it, baby elephant. And for the final step, we're gonna add more vegetation, some uh, grass, some branches, mini trees, something that will make our composition more interesting.
This is my safari silhouette with a family of elephants. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time with another fun project. Bye-bye!